Welcome back and happy Friday. This will be our last day of groundwater virtual labs. Today we are studying the effects of urbanization on groundwater. Urbanization is what happens when you take a natural surface or an agricultural surface, basically anything that is more plant and dirt, and cover it over with urbanized surfaces such as streets or parking lots or buildings or sidewalks. That's urbanization. For this first part, we are going to open up a template that is called Rural versus Urban Areas. It's found right there. And in this template, you're going to see multiple different layers. There's a couple of aquifers that are already uh, ready here for you. And then you notice this impervious layer right here or this, um, this no flow layer right here on the side. So we don't have a whole lot to do here, actually. What I'm going to ask you to do is to simply open up this rural versus urban areas template. Rural, by the way, means uh, either more natural areas, uh, forests or wetlands, or it could also mean the countryside or agriculture. Basically anything that's more plants and dirt than it is street. Don't change the rain probability, just keep it right where it's at, because this is a decent approximation of where Kerman might be. And all I'm going to ask you to do is to play this for a little bit. So watch what happens to the water as it falls. As it falls on both the left side and the right side, where does it make it down into the aquifer? Where does it puddle up? I want you to pay special attention to which two of these two sides might be representative of a city compared to a rural area. When you are finished, I want you to please pause the video and, I'm sorry, pause the model and then go back over to your slideshow, your assignment for the day, skip ahead to slide number two, and answer the four questions that you will find here based off of this rural versus urban areas model. And that is it for the first part of today's labs.